I'm so happy to meet all of you right here. Yes, because that means we can play games together. It's Lala. Before we play, let's play together. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that part. Let's play together. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your blessing that we can wake up today. Now we want to have our service. Please bless us so that we can uh, learn something from today's service and so that we can learn from your words and also that we can praise and worship you more today. In Jesus' name, we all pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So I have uh, prepared a very fun game for all of you guys. So the game is called the treasure hunt and it is very simple yet exciting. So the game is like, for example, I would give you a category of things that I want you guys to find. For example, I want you to find something that is white. You can take a tissue or maybe anything that, that the color is white in your backpack or in your bag. Do you get it? I get it, Mimi. Um, I think let's get started. I'll start first for an exercise. I want you guys to find something that is made out of metal. Um, I have found mine. Ah, me too. I found coin. Me too. So we both have found coin. What did you guys bring? Hmm, I think everyone already shows theirs. So, let's start with another one. Can uh, you give some, please? Let's find something with a red color. Hmm, I guess that's a great idea. Ah, I found my mom hair clip. And you I found, found it, my Lala? mom's lipstick. Okay. Huh. What about the next one, yeah? Aha, mm. uh -huh, I know it. What about let's find something with numbers in it? Can you guess what it is? Because um. I have mine already. Did you guys already get yours? I got some money. This is 20,000 and there's the number on it. I have a watch. Wow, ah. that's brilliant. Hmm, let's find another one. Something Can else. Mimi give us something? Uh, uh, let's find uh, some things that bigger than our hands. Okay, okay. I got my Bible right here. Ah. It's bigger than my palm. I found my paper. It's bigger than my hand. Hmm. What else can we find in here? Ah, let's find something that have writing inside. Hmm. Ah, I found my Bible. Oh, I find my candy bill. Before I went here, I buy some candy for snacks. All right. Um, next one. Let's find uh, something that we can use for writing. Oh, that's a great idea. And it's very easy because I've got mine here. It's a marker. Ah, I found a pen. Wow, did you guys also find anything? Hmm, I think that is it. Isn't it exciting? But Lala, I'm so bored. I wonder how about continuing to play somewhere else? Mm, I think that's a very great idea. But first, I want to ask a permission from my mom first. Mom! Lala? Wait a minute. Okay, I think my mom's getting ready to be here. Do you have any idea already? Mm. You don't have any? I think I don't have I, any idea. I think yeah. I have a great spot. Let's go there later. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Wait a minute, kids. I'm on the way there. Oh, it's hard for me to walk. I'm getting older. 
Oke. Hai Ma. What's wrong? Hai, hai Lala. Hai, hai Andi. What's wrong? What's wrong? So, me and Mimi are planning to go together for a walk. Are we allowed to go? Of course, of course you can go. But I heard the news that a lot of sugar that is dangerous for ants out of the streets. So you cannot eat that, okay? Okay, Auntie. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, you can go. Oh, let me pick your bag so you can walk freely. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you Auntie. Much, Mom. Okay. And remember, don't go home too late, right? Please. Look at your clock, okay? Okay. okay. Bye, Andy. Bye, Bye. 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 Careful, Bye. guys. Bye. Hmm, I think before a walk, it's perfect for us to have a little warm up first so that we're not getting tired too easily. Okay. Let's go, friends. Let's join us. Jump a little, one, two, three. Run a little, skip a little, tap one knee. Bend a little, stretch a little, nod your head. Yawn a little, sleep a little on your bed. Hop a little, jump a little, one, two, three. Run a little, skip a little, tap one knee. Bend a little, stretch a little, nod your head. Yawn a little, sleep a little on your bed. Hop a little, jump a little, one, two, three. Run a little, skip a little, tap one knee. Bend a little, stretch a little, nod your head. Yawn a little, sleep a little on your bed. Hop a little, jump a little, one, two, three. Run a little, skip a little, tap. Jump a little, one, two, three. Run a little, skip a little, tap one knee. Bend a little, stretch a little, nod your head. Yawn a little, sleep a little on your bed. Hop a little, jump a little, one, two, three. Run a little, skip a little, tap one knee. Sleep a little on your bed. Uh, uh, that's a great warm up. Now, let's go for a walk. Mm. But I think this is a very nice garden. Yes, look it at looks our so surroundings. Nice, Lala. It's very nice. All right, let's pray right here. Now. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Is that something sparkly right there? What is it? I that don't one, see that. That one, that one. I think oh. it's very good. I want to try it, Mimi. It's Lala. Your mom already warned us not eat that candy. But because that could dangerous. be not candy. I still don't know what that is before I could taste it. So I want to give it a try. Come, no, no, come no. with me, Mimi. Don't go near that candy. No, I want to go try that candy. But if you don't want to go with me, Fine, then I'm gonna go Don't by go myself. Lala! Lala! Ah. ah, Lala! What should I do? Lala didn't listen to her mom's advice. Huh? If something bad happened to Lala, what should I do? Oh no! Hi, Mimi! Lala! See, I'm fine! And the candy was so tasty. It is one of the sweetest candy I've ever tasted in my whole entire <gasps> life. What happened to your body, Lala? Why it's Nothing so much happens. You, Lala. It's this so is just because, you know, I eat the candy and it kind of melted a bit. So it melted to my body a bit and make me hard to move a little bit. But besides all, it's a very good candy. Oh, Lala, that's dangerous. You no, might not be not. get rid from the candy, you know. Your mom already warned us not to go near the candy before. 
Well, what you need to do now is just don't talk to my mom about this. Never speak a word about this accident. Lala, it's better you confess and tell your mom right now. Lala, Mimi, where are you? Come home quickly, it's getting dark. Lala, Mimi. I don't want to, I don't want to confess. I'm just gonna run and hide because if I confess, my mom would be mad at me and she would punish me. I'm scared. Lala, you must confess and tell her now. Lala, no, don't I'm go. Going. Don't go and hide. Lala, wait for me. Shion kids! Kids, we thank God because His love has set us free from every sin. Now everybody let's stand up and we want to praise God joyfully! Get ready!
The candy tastes so good. It is one of the best candy I've ever tasted in my life. I get addicted to it, but it's getting stickier and stickier, and I almost didn't be able to move away from the candy. What should I do? Uh, oh, I think I have a stomachache. I think this is big, the reason why my mom forbid me to eat the candy, but I still decide to eat it anyway. Oh, what should I do now? Should I start confessing to my mom? But my mom can scold me and she's very mad at me. What should I do?
reach your hand. Let's sing this song with all of our heart. word today. Yes, 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 I can see your hands raising up. Me too. I'm very excited to share God's word with you all. Before we start our service, let us start with a prayer. As usual, I need you to fold your hands and close your eyes. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day that you have gathered us all together. As we're going to hear your words, please bless us, Lord, with your wisdom, with your understanding, so that we can sit and focus, be attentive to every details of the words you want to speak to us. Lord, we are so ready. We want to surrender everything into your hand. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody come and say, Amen! Wow! Eagle Kids, do you remember what is the first book in the Bible? Yes, I heard some of you say Genesis and you are right. It's Genesis. And what does Genesis speak about? It speaks about creation. God created us. God created the world. God created the light, the plants, the animals. And on the sixth day, what does God create? human, you and me, right? And you know what? When God created human, He made us so special, more special than plants and animals, of course. Why? Because when we are specially, fearfully, and wonderfully made, God has already given us the bread of life. He also created us in His image, in His own likeness, likeliness. What does it mean, Miss? It means that in you and in me, there is God character inside us. For example, we have love, we have loyalty, and others. Things are characters that plants and animals don't have, but we do have it. Adam and Eve, as the first human that God created, have it. Adam and Eve was created by God and was put in the Garden of Eden. 
They have a very close relationship to God. They walk freely in the Garden of Eden, enjoying all the views, creating a beautiful scenery, enjoying all and everything in it. But then, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. God made human to glorify Him. But then, because of this disobedience, because of this choice that Adam and Eve chose to do, it made human fall into sin. So without further ado, let us hear a Bible story from Genesis chapter 2 and 3. Listen carefully. This Bible story is taken from Genesis chapter 2 and 3. After God created the earth and everything on it, He planted a garden named Eden. In this garden, God grew all sorts of trees, and there was a tree of life in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God formed the man and took the man named Adam, and He put him in the garden of Eden to take care of it. God gave this one rule to the man. You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. God also told the man to give names to everything in the garden. God said he would give the man a helper who was right for him, and her name was Eve. The good relationship between God and the man made the devil unhappy. The devil wanted to ruin that good relationship, so he used a snake to trick Eve. Eve was tempted into breaking God's rule by eating the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Eve ate the fruit and she also gave some to Adam. Adam and Eve ate the fruit, and this caused their good relation with God break. Because Adam and Eve didn't obey God, they couldn't be close to God anymore. God didn't allow them to stay in the Garden of Eden because they had done something wrong. The devil's plan worked. He succeeded in separating humans from God. People no longer live with God in the Garden of Eden and they couldn't play together with God anymore. Okay, Eagle Kids, you have heard the Bible story and let us discuss a little bit on the Bible story we had just listened. If you have your Bible with you or notebook, you can open it up. Okay, are you ready now? Yeah, so from the Bible story that we heard, we know that God has put the man in the garden, right? He gave him a job, and what is that? To take care of the garden and name everything in it, like plants and animals. Can you imagine how many there were? So many, right? Can you do it? And then God gave this man one rule, which is, not to eat the fruit of one tree. That's it. That one rule the man should follow. God also told the man the consequence if he disobey, which is death. But then the serpent comes into the picture and started to twist God's word. The devil starts to mess things up. And the woman started to eat the fruit and give some to the man too. And therefore, as a consequence, they have fallen into sin and God banished them. They're not allowed to stay at the Garden of Eden forever. Now, that's the consequences of sin. That's the consequences when you disobey God. You know, Eagle Kids, life is full of choices, right? We can choose anything that we like. We can choose when we wake up, what are we going to do? Is it to pray or we check our phone? Or if someone asks you, hey, can you choose your favorite dessert? I can have a choice of ice cream because I like ice cream the most. But you may answer me, I want to eat cupcakes. Or some of you might say, no, chocolate is the best. And that's okay, that's your choice. 
Or maybe on Sunday when your mommy asks you, okay, we have free time. What do you choose to do? And then I will say, I want to choose to stay at home and sleep. But maybe some of you might say, no, I want to go to the park and ride my bicycle. Or some of you might say, hey, I want to hang out with my friends. That's okay. It's your choice. Life is full of choices. But then, when it comes to Jesus, there's only one best choice. It's Jesus himself. Jesus is the best choice. So, every choice that we make leads us to another things which can be good or which can be bad. Let me start with the bad one. Yeah, well, we have heard about Adam and Eve. They choose to disobey God. They choose to sin against God. And the consequence is that God is disappointed with them. God is angry at them. They have fallen into sin and they cannot enter the Garden of Eden anymore. So that's why the Bible tells us that sin separates us from God. Sin separate us from God. Now, if you have your Bible with you, open up with me in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. I repeat once again, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. Now, if you have opened it up, let's read it out loud together in the count of three. One, two, three. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden His face from you so that He will not hear. Okay, miss, can you take a pause and tell me what does it mean by iniquities? Right, don't worry, girl kids, because I have prepared another version of the Bible, which is from the New Living Translation. It says here, it's your sins that have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, He has turned away and will not listen anymore. Oh, Eagle Kids, how sad it was. Because of sin, we are cut off from God. Because of sin, we are separated from God. So from this Bible, verses that we read, we know that sin is the bad stuff that we did that disappoint God and separate us from God. Who wants to be separated from God? I don't want. I, I, I want to be forever with God. And I know you all want to be forever with God. But then, you know, guys, because of sin, we are separated from God. We cannot talk freely like Adam and Eve used to when they're in the Garden of Eden. We cannot directly face God face to face. We cannot directly meet Him face to face. And we cannot talk freely about anything like it is supposed to be. So, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 4a, Everyone who sins breaks the law. Hmm. Just now, we learn that sin is the bad stuff we make that disappoint God. Now, we know that sin is breaking the law. Whose law, Ka? Is there any law? Yes, it's God's law. Now, I want to tell you that sin is something we do intentionally to disobey God's command. It's bad, right? And the consequences is not only feeling far away from God, but it can lead to death. So scary, I know. And the devil wants this. The devil wants you and me to be separated from God forever. Or we can call this, we go to the hell if we did not receive salvation. In our life, this is our human nature. Sin no matter how old you are, no matter where you are from, no matter if you are um, a young child or adult, everyone has sinned against God. Sin is not good because it separates us from God. When we do just a tiny little sin, it is still a sin. When we just lie, just one little lie, it's still a sin. Just to hide a mistake, we want 
uh, we end up telling a uh, lie to our parents, for example. Or maybe just for a moment of pleasure, we tend not to read the Bible and forget about worshiping God in that day. Or maybe just because of your curiosity, you started to open up the video and watch something that you should not watch. Just because of the wrong choices and you feel like, Miss, it's nothing lah. Miss, I just do a little sin. Miss, it's okay lah. No, it's not okay. Sin is still a sin. There's no big or little sin. There's no black or white sin. Sin is still a sin, and sin separated us from God. So, what should I do? What should we do? God do not want us to be separated away from Him, right? God loves us so much that He wants to be close to us. Jesus loves us so much and the Bible tells us so. You know that well. I know that too. God loves you and me. And that's why He gave us His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have an eternal life. Whoever believes in Him, it says whoever believes in Him. So when you believe in Jesus, it means that you receive salvation. And then, after I believe in God, after I receive God, what should I do? Let me tell you, I also got this from the verses in the Bible. Psalms 119, verse 9. Psalms chapter 119, verse 9. As usual, we will read it out together. In the count of three, one, two, three. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. All right. The Bible clearly mentioned that we can live in purity. Purity means not living in sin anymore, right? Purity means living the way God wants us to live. By what? By living according to His word. It means that the truth in the Bible tells us if we want to live with God, if we want to be close to God, if we want to choose to live near God every single day, we must spare our best time to meditate in His Word. Give your best time each and every day to read the Bible, not only just to read, but to understand what do God wants me to do. What do God wants me to do in my school? What do God wants me to pray for my family, for my friends? What do God wants me to say when I am in front of my grandparents? You ask God will to be done in your life. You read the Bible, you worship Him, you find Him every single day. Prayer is not something hard to do. It's not that when you... Um, Speak sophisticatedly, then God will listen. No. God wants you to pray in a simple manner, in the way that your heart is ready to be filled with God's presence, in a way that your heart is ready to be touched by the Holy Spirit. So, I want Eagle Kids, every one of you, starting today, keep this in mind, that every day I should live according to His Word. That every day, I should give my best time to pray and meditate on His words. That I know today, sin separates me from God. And I do not want that to happen. Eagle Kids, close your Bible, close your notebooks. Let us pray together and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. Close your eyes, fold your hands, and let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, Thank you very much for the beautiful message that you have reminded us all. We know that we are all sinners, but thank you for your endless mercy, for your grace, for dying on the cross to save each and every one of us. We are truly grateful for that, Lord. Lord, as we have listened to your words, help us, Lord, in every day, in every situation that we face, we might want to find you first. We might want to seek you first. In Jesus' mighty name, Eagle Kids, raise up your hands. I will pray for you again. 
God, I bless these kids with your greatest blessing. I pray that you will bless them, their studies, their parents, their families, and in everything that they do, you guide them, you bless them. I pray that the Lord's favor be with you and His face will shine upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Surrender everything into your name. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, amen. See you, Eagle Kids, in the next service. God bless you. I got addicted to it, but now my stomach hurts. I've been looking for you, Lala. 
to play together, but you were always upset. Yes. I'm very sorry. I went and sneaked around. And why? When I call you, you don't want to answer me. I call you a lot of times. La 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 la, where are you? And you didn't answer me. It is all because that I'm scared of you, Mom. I'm scared that you're gonna scold me and I'm scared that you're gonna punish me. It's because you make mistakes, Lala. Because of that, you were afraid to meet me. It's okay now. Let's go home and I will help to clean your sticky body with oil, okay? Okay, Mom. Friends, if you will make a mistake, you must admit it immediately. So... We can confess to our moms yes. uh, because sin separates us from God. Sin separated me uh, from oh God. God. Okay, let's say it one more time. Okay, sin separated me from God. Okay, so. Let's go home and clean my body. Okay. So. But before that, see you and God bless you.